I'm Ann McDonald and I'm a veterinarian and we have a bird practice in Vancouver and I thought you might be interested to spend a bit of time and uh, see what life is about here with um, treating birds as a veterinary patient. He's a salmon crested Moluccan cockatoo male. He's about, I don't know, 20, 22 years of age something like that. He's domestic raised. He's very easy to handle. And he has an eye that had a previous injury and so the eye is the eye is dead and doesn't see at all. But also it doesn't discharge anything so it's really well tolerated. He's got a pretty good beak quality. He's a little bit dusty. And there's his tongue and his mouth and he's got, I think, a nice mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, can you say all for the doctor? Maybe not. A stethoscope is a nice is a nice thing, but in birds you often can't determine by listening uh, a subclinical heart problem and ultrasound and x-rays really help a lot. But he sounds nice and clear. His rate is is uh, normal and uh, there's no murmur. I find often that birds are afraid of stethoscopes and some people put you know cloth on them okay. so they don't look so straight and okay. even okay. and and they do really look quite snake-like and it seems to be an inherent fear and if you see okay. how he's looking now you can appreciate that he's that he's Scared. afraid. Teresa is a geriatric blue and gold macaw that has difficulty using her legs to walk and she counterbalances by moving her tail. But one of the things that we've been doing uh, is laser therapy. The wavelengths are emitted that facilitate increased blood flow, increased oxygenation of the tissues and as a wonderful benefit it decreases painfulness and it facilitates healing and that's good yeah you're very good Teresa very good this bird's um, cage mate died this morning acutely and so we asked the owner to bring in the cage mate and to do a quick check for uh, lead they had placed a a Christmas ornament within the cage and uh, we didn't know exactly what the ornament contained and this x-ray that was taken shows the bird from the side view and we come down into the lower digestive tract and you can see little bits of something that the bird has eaten but it's a, but it doesn't look uh, bright enough to be metal. So some days I may see 10 to 15 birds in a day and other days I may be over 20 birds in a day. It, we never know what's going to come through the never know what's going to come through the door. We never know what we're going to find. It's an extremely exciting and challenging uh, job to have on a daily basis.